Hello everyone, welcome back to a small turbo YouTube channel. So today we're going to have module 3 of quarter 3 for sign 7. The topic is all about waves. So in this lesson, you are expected to classify waves as either transverse or longitudinal and mechanical or electromagnetic. Then draw and identify parts of transverse and longitudinal waves and relate the importance of understanding the concept of waves to real life situations. So let's start by having these to what I know answers. Which of the following is not an example of a mechanical wave? The answer is light. Next, which of the following statements about the anatomy of transverse waves is correct? So basically 2, 3, 4. The lowest point of the transverse wave is trough. The wavelength of a transverse wave is a distance from one crest to the next crest. And the highest point of the transverse wave is crest. Number 3. Does the sound intensity decreases as it spreads outward in all directions from the source? The answer is the intensity of sound decreases as it moves outward from the source. What type of wave does not need a medium for it to propagate? The answer is electromagnetic waves. Next, Marky is doing an experiment that throws a piece of stone in a pond. Was he able to create waves? Yes, he observes that when the stone touches the water, circular ripples are formed. In which general type of wave do the particles move perpendicular to the direction of the wave motion? Transverse wave. Which of the following statements does not correctly describe a wave? The highest point of the transverse wave is the trough. This is this is not correct. What refers to the number of waves that passes through a given point at a particular time? Frequency. Which of the following statements incorrectly describes electromagnetic wave? Electromagnetic wave is a type of wave that transmits energy through a medium. It's not correct because electromagnetic wave does not need a medium. The wavelength is the horizontal distance between? Alright, it's A. The next crest is E. Which of the following points is a crest? A is a, point, is a crest. E as well. So, only two. Among the given, it's A. Which of the following points is trough? C, G. But G is not around, so the answer is C. Which of the following is not an example of a wave? The answer is wavelength. The following statements correctly describes mechanical wave except mechanical waves does not propagate through a medium. This is not correct because mechanical wave needs a medium in order to propagate. Which of the following terms generally refer to a disturbance propagated in space or through a medium? That is wave. The answer is letter D, wave. So we have our topic, types of waves. Let's go directly to our lesson. So let's have first the points to remember. Waves can be typified according to the direction of motion of the vibrating particles with respect to the direction in which the waves travel. Waves in a rope may be classified as transverse waves because the individual segments of the rope vibrate perpendicular to the direction in which the waves travel. When each portion of a coil spring is alternatively compressed and extended, longitudinal waves are produced. Waves on the surface of a body of water are a combination of transverse and longitudinal wave motion. Each water molecule moves in a part circular pattern as the waves pass by. Waves carry energy because waves can set other objects into motion. When waves or when wave pass by, particles vibrate alternately to transport the energy of the waves. So let's go to the lesson proper. So waves can be typified according to the direction of motion of the vibrating particles with respect to the direction in which the waves travel. The types of waves according to the direction of motion of the vibrating particles with respect to the direction in which the waves travel are transverse, longitudinal, and surface waves. So, when you see transverse waves, the it vibrates perpendicular to the direction in which the waves travel. For the longitudinal, it vibrates parallel to back or back and forth to the direction in which the waves travel. Surface waves, on the other hand, it 
creates a circular pattern because it is a combination of a transverse which is perpendicular in motion and longitudinal which is parallel in motion when they are combined it forms a circular pattern then the two big classification of waves we have the mechanical waves and the electromagnetic waves when you say mechanical waves m stands stands for medium this is my uh, what's this bagati mailhan yeah it needs a medium because of that letter m it needs a medium like solid liquid and gas for it to propagate so it um uh, it could be transverse longitudinal or surface so on the other hand electromagnetic waves does not need a medium to propagate so example or these are the electromagnetic waves radio waves ultraviolet microwaves x-rays infrared gamma rays so they're examples of electromagnetic waves so energy from the sun for example is or the, the ultraviolet waves coming from the sun is an example of electromagnetic waves. So, this is the electromagnetic wave sample. So, when it comes to the wavelength, okay, radio has a very big wavelength. Okay, this is the anatomy of the transverse waves. So the highest point of a wave is crest. Wavelength is the distance from the lowest trough or the first trough to the next trough or the first crest to the succeeding next crest. Then the amplitude is the maximum displacement of a particle of the medium on either side of its normal position when the wave passes. So this is the amplitude. And again, trough is the lowest point of the wave or wave pattern. Then we have the so-called frequency. Its unit is hertz. The number of waves that pass a particular point for every unit of time, such as one second, while the wavelength is the distance between adjacent crests or troughs. So period is the time required for one complete wave to pass a particular point. Then we have the speed of the wave. So basically, the formula is frequency times wavelength. So it is the distance the wave travels per unit time. So frequency times wavelength lang. Then we have the anatomy and nature of longitudinal waves. So the direction of travel is parallel to the direction of energy transport. That's for the longitudinal wave. So, you can create a longitudinal wave using a slinky, the toy, okay? So, we have the areas of rarefactions and compression. So, rarefactions are regions of low pressure. Low pressure due to the particles being spread farther apart. For the compressions, uh, this is the rarefactions. For the compressions, Regions of high pressure due to particles being close together. They are close together and this part the rare fractions. So the trough here is at the bottom of the wave. The wavelength is the length of the wave from compression to compression. The amplitude of the wave is the highest amount of vibration that the medium gives from the rest position. So... These are the things that you need to remember in this topic. So wave speed, wavelength, and frequency are related by the equation. Wave speed is equal to frequency times wavelength. The frequency of a wave is inversely proportional to the wavelength. When a wave has a high frequency, it has a short wavelength. And when a wave has low frequency, it has a long wavelength. Example is the radio wave. Radio wave has a long wavelength, so it has a short frequency or low frequency. Suppose you observe an anchored boat to rise and fall once every 4 seconds as waves whose crests are 25 meters apart pass by it. 
So what is the frequency of the observed waves? So the frequency of the waves is the the given frequency is uh, 0 0.25 hertz. So frequency is yes. So how did we come up with a 0.25 hertz? It's one over four seconds. The period kasi is four seconds. What is the speed of the wave? The speed of the wave is just multiply the frequency which is 0.25 times the wavelength which is 25. The answer is 6.3 and again the unit for speed may it be wave speed. It should be having the unit meter per second. For the frequency, it's hertz. So all you have to do to get the hertz, um, the value of the frequency, if you are given the time, it's 1 over period, 1 over 4, that's 0.25. Alright, for the what's more, I'll just flash by. The ipa-flash ko lang yung answers. So I hope you just analyze on it. Alright. I-pause nyo lang itong video para mas maunawaan. And for the second part, so the crest, highlighted siya, wavelength, amplitude, then circled yung hindi highlighted. You have the frequency, the trough, then the period. What I have learned, so you may pause this video if you want to. And, um... Have a closer look of the answers. So, wave is a periodic disturbance that moves away from a source which carries energy with it. Waves can be typified according to the direction of motion of the vibrating particles with respect to the direction in which the waves travel and according to propagation. Transverse waves vibrate perpendicularly to the direction in which the waves travel. This wave exhibits up and down motion. Longitudinal waves vibrate parallel or back and forth to the direction in which the waves travel. Surface waves are combination of transverse and longitudinal waves. These move in a circular pattern as the waves pass by. Mechanical waves need solid, liquid, and gas medium to propagate or travel. Transverse, longitudinal, and surface waves are examples of mechanical waves. Electromagnetic waves do not need medium to propagate. Radio waves, ultraviolet, infrared, and gamma rays are examples of electromagnetic waves. The nature of waves can be described through its terms, quantities, and anatomy. The crest and trough refer to the highest point and lowest point of a wave pattern, respectively. The amplitude of a transverse wave is the maximum displacement of a particle of the medium on either side of its normal position when the wave passes. The frequency of periodic waves is the number of waves that pass a particular point for every one second while the wavelength is the distance between adjacent crest or trough. The period is the time required for one complete wave to pass a particular point. The speed of the wave refers to the distance the wave travels per unit time. It is related to the frequency of the wave and wavelength through the following equation, wave speed equals frequency times wavelength. For the what I can do portion, balikan nyo lang ang nauna natin ipinakita sa video na ito. May rubrics po tayo. So it's your turn to do that. And for the assessment, so ipa-flash ko lang ito kasi we are running out of time. So it's... You just pause this video to go over to the correct answers. And I hope you learned something for our lesson today. For the additional activities, it's your turn now. So basically, types of wave siya. Needs medium to propagate si mechanical. Sound wave is under mechanical. Ultraviolet ray is under electromagnetic. Periodic disturbance, it's for you to locate saan siya dapat ibut. Uh, ilagay and does not need medium to propagate yan ay si electromagnetic and yes, it's your turn as well to do this napakadali naman yan no? so point A for example, this is the crest point G, trap D, E C, G alright, so it's your turn so bye bye, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you learned something, watch out for module 4